Hey everyone, Dave here. When it comes to headsets for work, there really hasn't been a standardized practice amongst all of the headsets. Typically, they were designed to work with a desk phone, which all have different proprietary types of plugs and standards that each manufacturer set between the phones and the headsets. Now that most people are using a headset on the computer or laptop, the need for a standardized protocol is more important than ever. We've seen this with Bluetooth headsets. You can pair up just about any Bluetooth headset to any brand of phone, like an iPhone or Android phone, and be able to do things like adjust the volume, answer and calls, or even mute or unmute the microphone, no matter what headset or what phone you have. Historically, this has not been the case with computer-based headsets. Each phone system like Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Google Meet, Avaya, Five9, have had their own standard for the way that the headset works with their phone system, meaning that the headset had to be specifically programmed in order to get these types of features to work on their platform, if at all. You would have to have a certified or optimized headset, which means that the phone system manufacturer would have to work with the headset brand manufacturer to make sure that the call control buttons would work flawlessly with the phone system. And this would have to be done for every model of headset and every brand of headset in order to get it to work, which can be quite difficult and always having different standards. As of the last few years, we've seen phone system manufacturers start to adopt the HID protocol. HID stands for Human Interface Device, and it's a standard that can be pre-built into the headset that's one uh, setting or one configuration in the headset that will support any of the phone system platforms that support this HID protocol. Phone systems now have different ways you can access them, whether on a web browser or a desktop application, they still need to support the headset controls, which is why this protocol is even more important. Apps that are using it are Microsoft Teams, Zoom Phone, Ring Central, 8x8, Uma, Vonage, 3CX, and Dialpad. So what exactly does using the HID protocol actually do? Well, simply put, it allows you to use the buttons on your headset to interact with your phone system. Take a look at this Google Meet, for example. I have my Jabra Evolve 2 65 Flex with this USB adapter that I have plugged into my computer. I have the Jabra Link 380 that I can select for my microphone and speakers. But then when I go down to the call control setting, you will see a pop-up window that says to select my HID device, which is the Jabra Link 380. When you activate your headset, what will happen is that the headset will now be able to use the call control. So if you're on a video meeting, you can hit the button on the side of the headset and it's going to hang up the call. You can also directly mute or unmute the application directly with the headset. So if you don't have a HID supported headset, what will happen is yes, maybe your microphone is muted directly on the headset, but the problem is it won't unmute the application directly. So if you were away from your desk, you'd have to run back to your computer on Google Meet directly and unmute the microphone through the application. What's interesting is you can pair up this headset directly via Bluetooth to your computer. You'll be able to select the microphone and speakers from the Google Meet audio settings. However, when you go to call control, you will no longer see an option of an available headset to select. That means when it's connected up directly via Bluetooth, it is not supporting the HID protocol. The most desired by our customers is the ability to be able to answer calls while away from the desk. So if you're using another application that supports HID like Microsoft Teams or Zoom, you'll be able to walk away from your desk, grab a cup of coffee and still uh, be able to answer your calls, which is really important for roles like sales and support. To enable this setting on Zoom phone, all you'll do is you'll go to your settings, then audio, make sure the headset that you have is selected as your microphone and speakers. Then you'll scroll down to the bottom and you'll select the checkbox that says sync buttons with headset. Once this is done, what will happen when you get an incoming phone call is the headset will start to play a ringtone letting you know you have a phone call coming in and you can press the button on the headset in order to answer it. 
And you can also use the same button to hang up the phone call as well. Typically the only features that HID protocol supports is being able to answer or end a phone call, adjust volume and mute or unmute your microphone. Now on certain headsets, you'll also be able to long press the call control button to put a call on hold and un on hold, which is pretty cool. And with other headset models specifically, if they have a busy light, it will also activate the busy light on the headset, turning on a red LED light so that other people know when you're on a phone call and not to disrupt you when you're busy on a call. Now you may be wondering what headsets specifically support HID. Well, we've made it easy for you. We've created a collection on our website. Go to headsetadvisor.com forward slash HID. And this is a collection of all the headsets that we've personally tested that are 100% compatible with the HID protocol. And before you go to a phone system manufacturer's website to look at their compatibility list, just know oftentimes they are really outdated with years old models recommendations and not the current and best headset options available. Typically brands that make headsets to be used for work like Discover, Jabra, and Yealink support the HID protocol because the headsets are durable, they're designed to be used for all day long, they're comfortable, and they have features to really help you maximize productivity. One new model Yealink released is the Yealink WH64, which is a decked wireless headset and Bluetooth headset built into one. So what that means is if you work in an office or you're working from home, you can have up to 300 feet of wireless range with high security. And it's also Bluetooth, so you can pair it up to your smartphone or your Bluetooth enabled laptop and take the headset with you on the go, which is one of a kind on the market. And for fun, if you're wondering what the microphone sounds like on this headset, have a listen to the microphone sound quality as well as noise canceling performance, have a listen. All right, this is what the WH-64 sounds like in a quiet environment. All right, now this is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the WH-64. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background. And this is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background. And this is what it sounds like with a roaring blender going on. What did you think of the microphone performance? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. If you need the most microphone noise cancellation to block out barking dogs, kids playing in the background, or even your noisy coworkers so that your voice is heard more clearly, you can try Neep noise canceling software for free by going to neep.com. It's an app you download onto your computer and it can work with any headset. There are a lot of headsets, wired and wireless, that support this HID protocol. Make sure to go to our list, headsetadvisor.com forward slash HID, in order to look at the available options. If you're not sure which one's best for you in your scenario, please reach out to our team here at Headset Advisor, call, email, or live chat, and we can make you a recommendation and get you matched with the right product for your situation. Especially if you are trying to outfit a team, we can certainly help. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you wanna learn more about that neat noise canceling software, we did an in-depth review of this video right up here, tested against Blender, people talking in the background so you can hear it for yourself. Check out that video. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one.